guys, Mike here with another C3 Podcast. Today we'll be talking about some amazing things that occurred in the last week. We had the Avengers taking over the world, we had Free Comic Book Day, and Star Wars Day. Plus some other news that I'm sure we'll touch on throughout the day. So, as always, joined with Kyle and, and Turnus here. What up? So right on. Here we are. Minus Josh, he may or may not show up later per usual, but... He had a baby. He stole it. Um, yeah, I understand they called him back to the hospital the other day to re-verify yeah. his paternity or something crazy like that. That's, really? No, I think they just... <laughs> they, Kyle's like, stupid. <laughs> they, had to, they had to... Uh, Wouldn't surprise me. Like, get the birth certificate or something. Exactly. <laughs> Make sure All right. It's... Let's jump right <laughs> into it. Indeed. Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. Mike, you saw it opening day. I'm gonna post. Uh, I am going to so post the picture of you as Thor. Right on for right everyone on. to admire oh, yes. the ghetto, the broke Thor. Yeah, ghetto ass Avengers. Yeah. Ghetto, <laughs> ghetto Avengers. Hell yeah! No. So, first of all, everyone's primary impression. What'd you think of it? Offhand, I freaking loved it. You know, yep. nerd, nerd stuff aside, I, and I, I was grinning like a little kid the entire time. Turns. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, honestly, I was a little bit over and underwhelmed at the same time. It's hard to put into words. That's a good point. I I feel the same way. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I really I enjoyed it. I don't feel like I you know, it's money well spent, but at the same time, mm-hmm. there was problems. So that's right. Let's uh, let's jump into those problems. That's I'm gonna right. start it off number one. Well, before Our, we jump into problems, if you have not seen Avengers. Three plus pause on this podcast. Spoilers, right? Yeah. Spoilers. Why are you watching the movie? Stop, spoilers, stop it. Spoilers, spoilers. Get so, out of here. Hey. Just getting that. Hungry. Okay. This one was not so much me as it was. I've seen a lot of people. Um, a lot of people felt like the Black Widow Hulk uh, love affair was kind of out of nowhere. Definitely out of nowhere. Very out of place. Um, Although it does make sense, we, I don't know, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, you know, because obviously Bruce was clueless the whole time, Mm -hmm. like he wasn't even thinking about it one bit, and yeah, that whole like, sun's getting low, big guy, whatever she was saying, I don't know, Missy says Mm -hmm. that to me now, so, (laughs) (laughs) but uh, yeah, wherever that may have come from, (laughs) calm it down. Calm it down. Uh, that's but, yeah. a good one. That's that's. But, yeah, that's where what your girlfriend has to say to you now. You know, not, like, she can call to, you Tiger and yeah. starting to Hulk out. Yeah, the sun's like, getting low, big guy. <laughs> but Excellent. yeah, like yeah, where that car, where that came from, it would have been nice to have. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what a lot of people said too. Is that even they wanted to hear the poem? Like what's like what was the poem she said? Like you know they had like the first two parts of it, and then he kind of you know. Yeah, goes back to whatever he was, but yeah, back to back to so normal. So I, I guess I didn't. I didn't have a problem with it. Um, I don't. I didn't think it felt so out of nowhere because I felt like they established it well. They established it in kind of the in the first Avengers that those two kind of had that he respects women. Something going on. Yeah, yeah. Hulk respects women. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I well, think that's what it ultimately she has to calm the beast. And yeah. she talks a lot about you know how she's in the red or whatever you know, and he's obviously very at war with himself and what he does when he turns into Hulk. So mm. it fits. Yeah. I think it was obviously expecting the uh, Natasha Hawkeye angle, right? Because that's and, what they kind of right. kept hinting towards. But I mean, at the same time, I was kind of like. I'm okay with that not happening because I'm sick of hearing about it. Online. Yeah, you don't you don't have to you don't have to have yeah. the power couple. And I think in this don't tell thing, me you're sick of my fan art. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. I don't know how to cross break to you. I thought in public would be the best. He would make a scene. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I th- I thought that their their dynamic worked well. Um, well, t- you know, I guess if we're on that topic of relationships, um, showing Hawkeye's family, I thought I thought that was a nice little touch. Yes, um, yeah. Them hiding out. Uh, the one little thing and kind of a nerd gripe is that I thought the family part was going to be the introduction to his deafness, which has been a key thing for that character for mm-hmm. quite a while. And they oh. they've kind of eliminated that. He's deaf. He's deaf. I had no idea. And that's and it's happened in a few different storylines th- 
throughout his history. Um, but that's where I thought this would have maybe been something like, you know, or even like maybe, you know, one of his kids was deaf or something. Like, I thought it was going to yeah. be come home. You know, he lives his peace and quiet out in the country. Like, I thought he'd, hope, you know, come home and maybe like one of his kids would start doing sign language or something. Or like, I thought there'd be some nod to right, that, that from the nice books. Touch. But um, at the same time, I mean, the character doesn't, I mean, he doesn't lose any effectiveness. Yeah. Um, but I thought that would have been a, a prime opportunity to maybe throw in some aspect of that to, you know, to, to build on his character a little bit. Right. And, and it was cool to definitely, they gave him a, uh, they gave him a purpose on the team too. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, so you're like, well, why? Why is Hawkeye on the team? And now we have a, we have an answer. Yeah. You know, which gotta, I thought that was cool. Gotta feed them kids. Gotta feed them kids. But I uh, see my second gripe with a movie would be uh, Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man don't really have much going on. I mean, they move the plot forward, mm-hmm. but there's not a lot of character development. No. Yeah, which in, and in a cast, I understand in a cast this large, you're gonna get that. But and then this is a big criticism of the movie too: is it felt like this one was busy setting up solo films. Yep. Right, and and I definitely saw that, and, and they just skimmed that surface. Yeah, I mean, Captain America himself had. Ten lines of dialogue, yeah, twenty at most. Yeah. I mean, he did, he hardly had any contributing stuff other than you know, kind of setting up. The he, didn't like the yeah, was, he, he didn't that like the swear. Yeah, he didn't like the swearing, and that was his um, thing. You know the uh, the deal with Thor. Um, that was one of my gripes. Where it's like, okay, I have to go check on something. Flies away. Hey, Mister Scientist, come help me. So here's something and, interesting about that that I read today. Um, Joss Whedon. Um, as we as we know, he's not directing Avengers: Infinity War one and two. Yeah, he, he's done. He was like, I'm done with this. Uh, big reason for that is because he just felt so overwhelmed with this movie, with all the characters he was trying to keep track of and everything. But also, the studio pressured him into putting the Thor cave scene in. He was like, No, we don't need to do it. It's pointless. It's useless. It doesn't doesn't do anything. Doctor Selvig doesn't need to be there. We can just talk about it. And they were like, No, put it in. Put it in. Mm-hmm. And they wanted him to take out all the Hawkeye stuff, all the family stuff. They're like, take all that out, put this cave scene in. He was like, no, I'm fighting for this Hawkeye scene. This is staying in the movie. And then, on top of all that, when they finally screened the movie and it was like the whole thing was, I think, originally like three hours and 33 minutes long. Yep. They started talking about what they needed to cut and the first thing that the studio brought up that they thought they needed to cut was the cave scene. Yeah. Like, (laughs) yeah. I, I would argue we got a shirtless Thor, so I don't know what everybody's big prob is. Well, even as a shirtless Thor, he, he, he's like, here's a pool, I'm going to jump in, stuff's going to happen. Yeah. And then he jumps in and comes out and something apparently happened. It shows a few of the same scenes of his nightmare that we already saw before, and then it cuts back to the Avengers and he's like, hey, here's what I saw. Like, here's, And we still don't know yeah. what he saw in his dream, so I'm right. assuming that's uh, you know more than likely yeah. extended edition type of well, stuff. It's probably leading up to Ragnarok, and they said there's going to be an extended edition Blu-ray with an alternate ending. So right, right, but yeah, I mean, pointless. Where yeah, yeah, it didn't need to be there, and then the whole I don't know, just uh, those quick little blips, and it's like, and I understand them where it's like in in a situation like this where this is a setup film, um, you know, War Machine showing up, that yeah, was nice. You know, Falcon getting his two lines of dialogue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think one of my biggest gripes that I had with this was, and this is just, again, nerd logic going out the window, the fact that nobody lost their shit when Vision came out of a box. Hey, guys, we invented a box that can print a human body with artificial intelligence. Yep. Nobody, like, nobody... Like I myself, I don't know. I'd probably, I'd probably piss myself. And it's like they just made a box that yep. can print people. This doctor can print people. <laughs> you know, it's like something right straight out of Fifth Element. You know, like here's, and yep. it was just like, and I still that 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 whole part just kind of went out the window because then it was just yeah. like it's just like oh yeah, plug it in, disconnect, plug it in. Oh, so okay, it needs a consciousness and it needs the mind gem. Which hey. Yeah. Avengers ripped off Street Fighter 2 because that was the whole premise of the Blanca character. <laughs> that was, was that he was <laughs> what, 80 percent evil and yeah. like twenty percent good. So I think that that yeah, Ultron's yeah. the same thing. He's like 
eighty percent evil or not ultra, excuse me, uh, uh, vision, yeah. vision, twenty eighty percent good, yeah. good or whatever, you know, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, same exact premise, and I've seen that before in a lot of stuff too. You mm-hmm. know, just the. They throw it in, and with that, I mean, I, I did like the introduction of Vision. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, nerd science aside, it, it it was cool the way they introduced it, and the, the whole hammer handoff, like, yep. yeah, that that was just a perfect little setup. I will say that's a genius bit of writing, that yeah. whole, because yeah. you know we grew solid with the character right away. Yep. Yeah, just Great. there it is. He's yeah. just he's pure good. And then I like the uh, just the little that add on, you know, when he has it, and it's just like it's a little heavy on the. Yeah, like, yeah. It works on the what does he say on the upswing or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I thought that was a, a nice touch. Um, I get, I guess, yeah, with Vision, um, and then with Ultron. Here's the deal. How would blowing up the robots stop Ultron when his very first step escaping Avengers Tower was going onto the internet? Well, Vision got him off the internet. Vision blocked him off of that. Okay. Yeah. And then so his consciousness after he was after he was off the internet, his consciousness consciousness yeah. was only left in the robots. And then so, but I don't know because but, the, but then what like, was, was preventing any one of those thousands of robots of running from into re-uploading the of, of going and sticking its finger in a light socket. I suppose. And, I don't know. I think yeah. it, I don't know. Yeah. Movie. Gremlins Movie. Gremlins um, too. Tra- Gremlins trap them trap yep, yep. in the <laughs> That's what I thought they yeah. were gonna do was like get him to like you know, it's gonna do we're gonna trap him in his phone. And like I thought it was gonna come down to something awful like that. I'm glad was, I'm glad it did. It was a do. double I kinda feel Ultron is two sided for me. Mm-hmm. Great character, great mm-hmm. acting, like James James Spader. James, James Spader, Spader. Yep. was amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh did great, but then like I said, the whole the whole plan and he never felt menacing. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it, he it was, was really cool was when they to... broke the team up, but it didn't feel like he was a threat. Yeah, like he was. A, it, he was a threat to Rockville or whatever the mm-hmm. town, town they were in. Yeah. Well, it was uh, like it was a cool idea because it's like, oh, he's on the internet, so they don't know where he is. He's everywhere. He's infecting everything, and then kind of. You know, well, where is he? Well, he should be in everything. Like I felt that's, like toasters should be attacking. Well, him. exactly. Every and that, know, that's and what I every was. Every computer's down. Like yeah, it should be his face on yeah on on every. But it was computer. more just like a being that could travel through the internet. Yep. Yeah. More than it was a being that could take over the internet. Right. You know, in which case, yeah, why they didn't just hey, you know what? Why didn't they? Why didn't they trap him in a phone then? Right. That, I know. Yeah. That could have been you know Ghostbuster style, like they could have. <laughs> You know, in the painting, right? Tony stood up. Yeah, could have had some app or something that, you know, rang at the same frequency or something and made him yeah. pop out. But um, no, I I love I absolutely love the concept of Ultron. I lo- I love what they did with him. But just like you're saying, I mean, the fact that it's like he was kind of jovial, and to him he wasn't homicidal. Mm-hmm. And it's like just like they said, it's just like well, his you know his version of this Earth kills everybody. And then mm-hmm. towards the end, it was like, I'm right. here to kill everybody. And it's like, well, an hour ago, yeah, your plan was you're just a flawed computer. Like, yep. your, your your plan was, oh, the only way I can save humans is by killing them all. You know, but he was yeah. happy about it. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it's like, nope, we need to... Um, here's my other thing. Do you, you know, would it be easier to, I don't know, uplink to, like, a satellite and then crash a satellite... Somewhere, probably on uh, like or multiple satellites. Maybe the one that had the Hulkbuster armor. Maybe <laughs> one of those. Like he could have, yeah, just uploaded into one of those and then crashed a whole bunch of those at the same time, rather than building or turning an entire city, like to media, like to, like yeah. to build rocket thrusters underneath a city. That does seem like a bit much. Yeah. Now, now that you mention it, because in why that city? Why was he limited to just? Yeah. Yeah. Like, why didn't you just go and? I don't know, he could have, like, supermanned it and picked up Antarctica or something. Yeah. It's like, here, I'm going to... Who, who knows? I'm going to blow up Antarctica, and then yeah. it's just going to flood the Earth or something. Like, lots of, yeah, lots of problems. But, um, again, that's, that's all comic book grape that we don't... Yeah. You know, as a movie... You can't get into too much because then you're never going to get off it. Right. You know? Uh, Quicksilver, do you think... Spoilers, once again. Do you think they killed him because he's in <sighs> Days of Future Past? Yes. Yeah, um, I, I feel that way too. I, I feel that 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 was def a definite result of the whole Marvel uh, Fox thing going on, 
and because there really there was no reason for him to die there was no reason um i found that part pretty upsetting actually because the avengers all get in trouble in all the movies like they all come so close to dying and yeah i think it was, it was good. kevin fager was saying oh yeah in this movie an avenger's gonna die yeah and he did after he was an avenger for like 20 minutes Not, yeah yeah i was like hey, wow that's that's cool well, i'm dead yeah, that's and then it's a red shirt, you guys. That's a red shirt. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But they couldn't, you know, couldn't put him in a red shirt. <sighs> and then Just. with them having to change up, and I, this is where, and I don't know, readers out there, if anybody or listeners, you know, if somebody knows copyright and trademarking um, and licensing stuff, feel free to weigh in because this is one of those prime things where these characters, um, you know, in the Marvel real universe. Or real in the Marvel comic universe, right. um, you know they're Magneto's kids, yep. and that was that was a huge part of it. And yep. then both um, Futures Past didn't really they sort of touched on it for a second, yeah. and then in this one they just had to throw it out the window, and it's like oh yeah, Hydra made him, right? And then for, for what I understand of the copyright, it's nobody claims nobody has rights to the character but when fox bought the x-men they have the right to call them mutants yep so that's why they were never able to call scarlet witch or quicksilver a mutant yeah. hence Twins. why they hydra made them and they have this kind of this alternate human, human alternate like thing hands, yeah. yeah 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 but that was kind of the thing was was that they just they said okay you can have the rights to x-men and they never defined what right. you know? What constitutes an X Men? Because I guess you could really everything argue everything. In how Marvel. many people have been a, like you? Any, any superhero I've never heard of is probably an X Men. <laughs> yeah, right. probably you know. He's at, or he's currently enrolled at the Batman yeah, was yeah. probably an X Men yeah. at one point. You yeah. know. And there's a, I don't know. Uh, with, with those characters, it, it was tough. I mean, I I I liked what they did with them and how they handled them. Um, and of course, that's what uh, Aaron Johnson from uh, Kick Ass, mm -hmm. and then. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this just goes, this is a small movie gripe. Why, why, why can they never hire English-speaking Eastern European actors to play, you know... Eastern European people? Like, you know, and it's like in both... Because he's British, and Elizabeth yeah. Olsen is... Is she American? She's American. Yeah. She's one of the Olsen sisters. Yep. Yeah. She's the... Uh, she's, she's the older the, one? She's the youngest. She's the youngest. Oh. Mary-Kate and Ashley's little sister. Yeah. The normal one. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? No, no, no enough. Um, no. But, uh... The one that doesn't hang out with Bob Saget. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh... No, the, the, the way they handled Quicksilver, and then it's like, oh, we're still getting used to our powers. And then, you know, obviously her at the end. Um, you know, Scarlet Witch is a cool character. I, myself, and it was funny to bring it up to other people, and I was, I was digging through. We have some of those Vision and uh, Scarlet Witch issues, but... I wonder if in the future, if they're going to touch on at all the the whole thing about her, you know, manipulating him sex bot style, and it's like, because that was always a pretty big thing in the comics, because it was just like, you know, it was never like I don't remember a direct sequence or anything where she was like, right, you know, you know, I'm throwing, I'm tying you into my bed type of thing, but it was definitely there. I know there's a lot of stuff over the years because it's like he had enough consciousness for him for her to manipulate him. Yeah. And then it's like, hey, you're a robot. You know, you're still a robot. Like, <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. And then they get married. They have kids. They have weird. Yeah. Kids. Like, don't explain that one. You know, yeah. I'm not too sure. I'll just let it, let it be. Just let it be. Ro <laughs> robot babies. <laughs> you know. So, who knows? Um, I don't know. What did you guys think with the introduction of them and then um, going back on, on the female, going back on uh, uh, Black Widow? We finally got to see, you know, five minutes of her backstory. Do you think that could have been deleted? Uh, it was nice to have it. Yeah. Um, I guess. And it's, it's all about the story, you know, because you can write a good story for anything, but I'm kind of glad they don't have a solo... Scar, uh, Scarlet Witch. No, who am I thinking of? Black Widow. Black Widow. Mm -hmm. a, a solo Black Widow movie. Because if that's what it was, it would have been kind of boring. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it'd be all about her and Hulk having a movie together about them. Yeah. You know, going back and forth. But I, I mean, they they told what you needed to know, and I'm glad that they gave her some backstory. Yep. 
Um, it's kind of weird when he's like, I can't be with you, or else I'll Hulk out when we're together. And she's like, I'm sterile. Like, yeah. I was like, oh. this is the weirdest conversation yeah, and, and of the that whole was, movie. That, that was my initial thought, too. I'm like, okay, that's pretty personal and it's sad. Um, but so that, I guess the question, does the Incredible Hulk's pants split when he becomes the Incredible Hulk matters the most to Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, although you know oh, they, they, this is just this, this is you know break break in their realm because they address that in the last Hulk movie. Remember that Norton where you know he had to have his heart monitor on and they're having their their romp in the hotel room yep, yep. and then oh, it's like yeah. and then he's like oh, and then he like he has to stop. And, and once like, again, like can we get some yeah. references like to the Incredible Hulk in the Marvel Cinematic Universe aside from the one throwaway they put in the Daredevil show? Mm-hmm. That Harlem headline or whatever, like that movie was awesome. Yeah, they need to bring that back. Oh, just bring the abomination back. Toss it in, and um, well, they've been talking about that. I mean, yeah. like I, stuff, but. I don't foresee, and again, I mean, what do we know? But I don't foresee a Hulk standalone for I'm guessing five, six years. No, no. if um, ever. Well, you know. Mark well, Ruffalo would say he'd be all about doing like a Planet Hulk or something like that, World War Hulk. Mm-hmm. So, but I think that's something where I don't know, and maybe this is one of those deals where Marvel jumps in. Like, even if they just did a quick little two-parter, could just be a little two-hour Netflix original, mm-hmm. like yep. you know, History of Hulk, or like a you know Hulk Smash, and it could just be a. It's like I mean, there's not obviously you you have the CG, you have the technology. Yep. I mean, he looked absolutely gorgeous. And you know those animators. I mean, I know you get tired of animating, but you mean to tell me those guys didn't have fun creating that creature? And yeah. it's like, man, if I if I had that stuff preloaded, pre-rendered to go on my computer, I'd be okay. I got it. So we get the two-hour Netflix original movie, Hulk Smash and the Smash Attack. He decides it's time to start a band while he's walking the world, <laughs> and they become the biggest band. And where did where did he where did they say that he left? Um, oh, he took they, off. They think they tracked and him. Crashed him in the ocean. Yeah. Fiji, Somewhere Fiji or <laughs> Fiji. Yeah, he becomes the biggest band in Fiji, and that's how they find him. That'd be good. Eddie and the Cruisers Two style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hulk with a <the> mustache. <laughs> like, yeah. and nobody knows it's him, even though he's the Hulk the whole time. <laughs> uh, play Hulk Smash now. <laughs> <laughs> And yes. a very tearful rendition of Free Falling. <laughs> yes. Well, and then, I don't know, yeah, going into there where, okay, like Hulk, okay, they established a little bit that Hulk has consciousness, mm-hmm. um, which developed at some point since the last movie. And then, like there, his decision at the end to ignore her yep. and yeah. crash or who knows what he and see, what happened. Like, he's like, I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm done. Well, because yeah. what it is, like, I, I don't know if they mentioned it in the movie, but I think they may have made reference to it at one point, but, like, Hulk is as afraid of Bruce Banner as Bruce Banner is of Hulk. Right. Like, Hulk is his own... He doesn't want to... He's separate. He, he don't... Yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. doesn't want to be Bruce Hulk. Banner. Yeah. So, so that's yeah. cool. But, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go into this real quick just because we're talking about the ending. Um, it was stated at least once or twice by Joss Whedon um, on his Twitter account, which was recently deleted, and for reasons we'll talk about in a minute, um, but that this movie is supposed to be the Avengers Empire Strikes Back. Mm-hmm. I, I was let down by that, because it's I, like... Yeah, I, I definitely mean, like, didn't see it as, as that type of... The team gets kind of split up, but then like they have a new team at the end. That's not how Empire ends. You know, it's, it's yeah. supposed to be... Well, like right. I think it should have honestly ended, it should have ended with Hulk shutting the monitor off and then you have maybe one or two lines of dialogue to just kind of wrap things up and then just like the end it's over like no comforting black widow no like steve's here to yeah assemble the avengers like yeah. no just end it just be over like that that's the note it needs, it yeah, needs to be a right. down note mm-hmm. once they because they pick up the pieces like you yep. said and yeah. everything's oh Scarlet everything's Witch, good to go good Falcon to go and yeah where yeah. else no avengers no yeah no. and then they didn't even give you the assemble which yeah. was funny but then like they're yeah, that that final scene is like, oh, we're in this bunker. Things are are here. You know, time time to move on. Okay, Iron Man, you're going back to your village, which is just down the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, they're here. They are in upstate New York. Like, you know, I'm no geographer, but <laughs> it's like that's not that. I think far it's near the same hill. 
that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles slid down. Yeah. So yeah, it's got to be somewhere out in mm-hmm. that neighborhood. So, a good good warehouse, mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> locations. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, let's do it. Hunkometer. How hunky was this movie? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, real quick too, real quick, real quick. So that's all I want to say. No, no, no. We're no. not getting off the hunkometer. No, that's fine. This that's is going to be science. We, we can come back to it. <laughs> Who's our target audience here? Um. <laughs> um. Who, who, who doesn't want to know where the movie rates on a hunkometer? Wow, it's a seven, of, Kyle. Come on, it's out of what? No, it's a hulkometer. Or Josh, hulk-a-meter? it's a seven. We got we got shirtless Thor, right? We can get that's all shirtless Captain America. Like I mean, bleeding Hawkeye. You got You got a seared. Yeah, no. gut shot. Naked, Hawkeye. naked vision, but that's just weird. Yeah, that's I don't like that. That was yeah. just like awkward. And then we got, uh, you know, I think I could find Black Widow in a towel. Yeah, I didn't do much. And Mark Ruffalo in a towel and pants. Yeah, and then ooh, sexy, and it's a shirtless Hulk, I guess, but doesn't really count. No, there was nothing. Kyle. No Apparently, my phone doesn't have a calculator. Ten divided by seven. What are you trying to look up? <sighs> <laughs> what are we calculating? Found it. Never mind. Okay. God. <laughs> okay. Now, how many guys do we have in the Avengers? Okay. Hawkeye, uh, America, Iron Man, Thor. Banner. We'll, th- we'll throw Banner in there. Banner. Okay. Yeah. You're five. Now, yeah. Thor's hungry. One to ten. Thor. How hungry was he in the movie? Oh wow. Uh, I. It's got to be a gut thing, just right now. Gut six. Eight. Eight, we got an eight, got a six, I'm giving him a nine. Okay. Iron Man. Iron Man, I got a four. Five, yeah. Four? Five? I'm going to three. He was a little bitch the whole time. <laughs> Captain America. Uh, five. Five? Yeah. Two. Two? I'm he gonna didn't do shit. And he, yeah, yelled at me, he yelled at me for language. I'm going like. to give him a six for the wood chopping. <laughs> well, when he tore, tore it apart, that was kind of cool. That That's not like, that didn't like get me go. going. I was like, eh. No, I All right, know. Hawkeye? That's more rage than anything. Yeah. I'd probably give Hawkeye like seven. Seven? I think this was his time. He's family a family man? Family give man, it? yep. I'll go six. Six? I'll go, I'll go with a seven. All right, now we got Bruce Banner. Yeah. Hulk. It's like a five. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say five. Five seems well. fair. Because he's like normal. Right. He's one of us. Yeah. One of the, those freak normies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do we get everybody? Yeah, so. that's everybody. Okay. So we put it together. And then... I think... We need Josh here. This is Josh. <laughs> this is Josh and Omics, actually. Josh and Omics. No, but it works out. <laughs> it works out. Yeah. It does. Okay. We're trying way too hard for this guy. Come on. Yeah, what's happening here? See, how you do is you add it up and then you divide by 8. So Avengers Age of Ultron 2 rakes a 10.375 on the hunkometer. Out Whatever of, that out means. Out of what? A 10 of, out of what? It's a 10 point... Why are you overthinking this? It's a 10.37. <laughs> it's a gut thing. No, it's it's a gut thing. Yeah, like, okay, 10 out of any, what? Any, it's not out of 10. It's just a 10. That's just the number we come up with. Okay. <laughs> it's got its rating. We need, your fucking phone we need to move. Put your fucking we need phone to move on. We already got it. You don't it's understand how math works. Clearly, <laughs> we got. We clearly, got it. I don't know why you're still stuck. Clearly, you don't understand how math works. Anyways, what I was gonna say before <laughs> we do it, we started doing this thing. Uh, Joss Whedon wanted uh, Ms. Marvel and Spider-Man in this movie. Yeah. Could not get the rights in time. Um, yeah. So that kind of sucks. Um, but I'm also kind of glad it didn't happen because there was too much going on in this movie. Too much, like. yeah. If you had to try, and I agree. You got to feel. That's he why I was dropped. so underwhelmed. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. there's so much going on that I just can't find the time to care about any one specific thing. Mm-hmm. Like, well, just, and, and and that was the thing. Like in this movie, for as much as they threw in, like that, you get your half second of Falcon and your half second of, you know, of War Machine, and then the fact that. Uh, I guess I was really bummed out with Falcon because he did nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had a line at the party, and then during the big battle, I don't remember no. him. I don't, yeah, I didn't even see him when uh, they brought. He the doesn't ship show up, up till after after everything. He's one of the new Avengers. He comes flying in, yeah. and then it's just like, oh, neat. 
That's and it. And yeah. there's no reason for them to. A lot of people felt too that Nick Fury was uh, wasn't needed in this movie. Not at all. No, no. Not yeah, at just, all. Just to show that he's still alive, but did, yeah. did yeah. we already know and, that? And like, yeah, and even in this case, it could have been. You know, if they could have written, he could have phoned in from an island yeah. somewhere yeah. or whatever. It could have been Maria Hill flying the the big shield ship. Yeah. Or and going back, why didn't Ultron just freaking take over their ship? Yep. Like he, like why didn't one of his little nope. robots? No, nope, Mike, we're past that. Just, That's just, done. He could have just jumped no, I'm gonna, on I'm the helicopter. I'm gonna jump on it right here, real quick, too, because I kept saying, "Oh, he was created by a shield, who is technically Hydra, but it, like, who, how? how, who's in command of the ship then, like?" Is she, okay, so Shield's in command of the ship, but that's Hydra, which is what Ultron was a product of. So he can't take over the ship because it's run by the same thing he's a product it's of. It's already his parents. It's inter. It's his parents' boat. Yeah. And have the it's inter office compatibility. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it makes perfect sense, like having a 10.375 out of nothing yes. on a hunk meter scale. So, so uh, moving past that now as well, you know, one yeah. other thing I want to bring about this movie that I found slightly enraging slash discouraging is Joss Whedon deleted his Twitter account because uh, several enthusiastic young women apparently were bothering him about ruining the Black Widow character. Yeah, the whole... How? Which, yeah. How? And that, I was reading a little on this watch, today, too. Watch Buffy. And it's, it's, like, it's this whole... And then there there is there's this ridiculous feminazi attack against him now. Like, it's you know, amazing and, what and, happens when you humanize a character. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and, and then it's yeah. like, in reading it, and it's like, that's almost a discussion in its own. Because, yeah, here he's getting torn apart, and all these feminazis are chomping at him, and how he's doing this. And it's just like, he's done nothing. Mm-hmm. But since the day one, like, he creates excellent female leads you yep. know and we've, yep. we've touched on that before we've had podcasts on that before where the guy's an awesome writer that's kind he's, of he's, his he's proven thing. to be a pretty good director yep. and it's like i don't know it's like i don't understand other than the fact that it's a comic book movie like i saw no issues and it's like okay here's you know are people mad because he added a little bit of a what do you want to say, you know, femininity and mm-hmm. humanity to Black Widow? And it's like she wasn't just a stone-cold programmed... And at no point was she a stereotype of anything. No. No. You know, I never felt There's like she was, oh, well, you know... Housewife. What's yeah. the, uh... The, um... 30 Rock joke. Oh, my period! Yeah. You know, <laughs> there was none of that stuff. Yeah. Well, exactly. see, and I, I well, spent... because she was sterilized. Yep. Well, I spent my, my fair share of time on Tumblr, um, something I'm not proud of and try to avoid actively now but um knowing what i little i do about the feminazis you know whatever you know not seeing all feminists are like that because they're right. not they're not no but not a lot we're see we're not drawing broad strokes no across i'm, I'm gonna say a, weird. a good chunk of it was yeah humanizing her and giving her um a man so to speak and hulk mm-hmm. and also not having her hook up with Hawkeye because that's like OTP. That's like one true pairing stuff on Tumblr. Mm-hmm. All anybody ever talked to was like, oh, Black Widow Hawkeye. Yeah. And whatever happened in whatever country that was, they mentioned the first one. You know, do, do, do. Like, and then here's this kind of revealed. And then and there's, there's been touch on that too. It's like they never did hook up. They've yep. always been partners. They've always been operative partners. Yep. And Hawkeye is always, like in this world, it's like he's always been married. He's always done it for his family. Yep. You mm-hmm. know, and it's just like, okay. yeah. And you know, but then, I mean, you know, I can see where they're coming from. They got little things next to, like in a Captain America Winter Soldier, she's got a necklace with an arrow on it, you know? Yeah. She like, like, oh my God, they're Did going out. Did you give her a necklace? No. Yeah, that, like, like, it's like, just a thing. They're friends, you know? That happens sometimes in life. That they're, and they're both, you know, highly trained programmed assassins mm-hmm. for S.H.I.E.L.D. And, yeah. You know? Well, and, and what these people don't understand is when you're as attractive as I am and these actors, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, you get so used to it, seeing it every day, mm-hmm. that it just doesn't phase you the same way. I'm sure. And you can be friends with attractive people. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm sure. Well, and, and, and look you at know. that. I mean, otherwise, you know, everybody be all over <laughs> Thor. That's well, kind of like, at some at some point. We are kind of all over Thor. Yeah. Oh, Hemsworth. Yeah. And then I did find it interesting, um, speaking of that. No other females in this mm-hmm. in this movie. I mean, we had we had the quick uh, Scarlet Witch. We had her Scarlet Witch, but, Black Widow, um, Lou Maria Hill, but for half a second, yeah, and then we yeah. we had we had the the doctor gal, yeah, oh, yep. Doctor um, Cho, yeah, who did her thing, and then but otherwise, like no, 
you know, there, I there prefer was, to be called Doctor Plot Device. Right. Yeah. It's like, hey, who can who can run this? Who can program the VCR? You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it was. Yeah, it's like, and then Tony makes Ultron. Tony can't make the other Ultron body. Uh, okay. Well, we got to make up a character. <laughs> yeah. Which made no sense considering, you know, if Ultron already had the knowledge of that technology mm -hmm. um yeah i don't know i think i think overall whedon is in the right uh, going back on topic um you know whedon in this case like you said he is kind of done with the marvel universe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um moving on to potentially another i don't know it's all speculative i mean i'm assuming a buffy or firefly project of some sort it sounds like That'd a firefly cool. project is yeah. what i'm thinking because he said you know he's kind of hinted like oh i have some other projects i'd like to revisit well okay you've done three other yeah big projects yeah you're not doing a cabin in the woods too because you already killed that franchise so amazingly yeah Sad, sadly, so yeah, so good. Um, so in this case, yeah, he'll be on to his next projects, and then that opens up that door. I mean, man, I'm fine with know. that though, because like, let's get uh, this movie felt a lot like the first one, yeah. So let's get new blood, let's get yep. somebody yep. else's take mm -hmm. on it. And yeah. I think that's kind of the secret to the success, like The Simpsons, it's been going on forever. What people don't realize is that that show changes writers like every five years or so oh yeah you know yeah. and i think you need to do the same thing with the movies is yeah. that you know so that every avengers movie doesn't feel like the last avengers mm -hmm. movie mm -hmm. but then at the same time they're setting that bar of like after that first movie broke the billion mark mm -hmm. and then it's like okay that's a pretty ridiculous bar to set and then this movie i believe as of yesterday what did i read they're already at like 600 some million yep. worldwide it's yeah. like they're well on their way however we could see it we could definitely see it stall out now mm -hmm. this week i mean i'm assuming i'll give it another two weeks number one box office yeah, yeah. but i think that's it mm -hmm. i don't think it's going to mm -hmm. be like the first no, movie i don't think it's gonna, no. i don't think it's going to be a 20 some week deal the first movie was the first of its kind it was like I mean, it was all that six build years up in the making too. Yeah, yeah, six exactly. years in the making and then it, it was a first of its kind and everybody wanted to be part of it and this one is kind of just it's another Avengers movie now mm -hmm. once you've done it once you can't do it again it's it's the second guy on the moon yep it's, you know right and then this is where they run that risk of it crumbling out you know and, and like we've had our rants before on this whole marvel cinematic universe and mm -hmm. cinematic universe cinematic and, uh, universe cinematic universe um because now as of you know they're telling us what we're doing for the next seven years mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. has already changed half a dozen times since i think we ran our report ant-man wasn't ant-man supposed to weren't we supposed to get that before avengers 2 i believe originally yeah, yeah. that was and now that's coming out in july yeah yeah and right now, I mean, Ant Man's going to be. I'm giving Ant Man all 150 million, maybe. maybe really? Do you think that that's going to be the first one to it's, not do super well? Not at all. Um, and mainly because when's the last? And I brought up before, you know, what's uh, like what's the last Paul Rudd movie that everybody had to rush out and see? Yeah, he's one of those guys. Like, and he's a great actor. That's the he's thing. funny. He's an incredible actor. Like, for what it's worth, I've talked with several other friends before. Like, that guy can play anything. Like, mm -hmm. I've always said, like, if they were to remake Psycho again, for whatever him reason, is like, he needs him to be Norman Bates. Norman Bates he can, oh he could, I can see that. He's so like nice and charming, but he can turn like that. But yeah, I just don't. It's not mm -hmm. going to be that kind of a movie. Oh. Doesn't have the hype set up for it yet or anything like that. So right, and and right now that. Uh, I think people are realizing, and maybe Marvel is realizing, like this is that that wall, mm -hmm. and like there's people in the theater, and it's kind of funny because it's like post credit scene, post credit scene, and and as soon as they showed, and that was kind of funny because they didn't even make it a post credit. Right, it was right. just like oh, it was two minutes into the credits. There's yeah. there's your scene, which serves. This is one of those things. Had you not watched. Guardians. Had you not watched it, that end scene, would have made zero sense. Yep. And granted, it is there for the fans, but and then there's people that are like, oh, there's got to be something after the credits. And there's like me and a couple other people in there. They're like, it's like, let's go. There's nothing <laughs> yep. after the credits. I assure you. I'm like, there's no, you know. And I was talking to my buddy as with. I'm like, there's no other movie coming out. Right. Well, as of right now, show, nothing yeah. else is filmed. There's no nothing that they can. They can't give us some little teaser. Yeah, you know, exactly. four three isn't coming out until twenty eighteen or whatever. Yeah. You know, Civil War isn't going to hit until 
at least three years, yeah. possibly four years. I will also say that this one felt the most comic booky movie I've ever seen in terms of introducing characters kind of at will. Yep, and turn then, the page and, you know, and character. And, yep, mm-hmm. pretty much. And then the way the story structured and just... This one felt the most like a comic book. Mm-hmm. I, I definitely give it that. Um, the one thing I and did... The, and uh, I will say that that's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah. In, in this, you know, ca- in this with, case... With films. That, that's what um, like my girlfriend and I were talking about. Because you know she really enjoyed it. And then her thing that, that she had commented was like she didn't feel... Um, how do I want to word it? She didn't have to like ask me anything in this one. Right, right, she didn't right. have to be like, well, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? And it was just like, and it was nice because that's what it's there for. It's just a casual viewing. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, like being comic book guys, like you sit there and just kind of, oh, oh, uh, you know, you know, that's uh, on the new characters thing. I don't know about you guys, and maybe this falls in deleted territory. Did it not seem like the hype leading up to this? Like there's. You know, I, I I can recall seeing at least three or four different like like blogs or journal, you know, uh, whatever journal entries, or whatever you want to call them, and they're like, it's like, oh, you know, here's who you're gonna see in Avengers two, you know, and they gave all these lists, and it's like I counted three people. Mm-hmm. There yep. wasn't a single name drop. There wasn't a single. Yep. There wasn't any any reference to any like Ant Man or right, to right. you know what else is coming up you mm-hmm. know and, yeah. and i thought that was it was kind of weird in that sense because with all the hype that was behind it where it's just like oh you know this is going to be the gateway to the marvel world it was their chance and there was it. other than you know it's like oh no thanos so well, okay but you know who thanos there is. could have been something like i personally had hoped for a direct some sort of direct uh link mm-hmm. between like Guardians of the Galaxy. That's in yeah. Me and Kyle went and sat with a buddy of mine. And he was saying the exact same thing. Like he was looking for a Guardians of the Galaxy reference, and he was like Ugh. super pissed when they didn't yeah. do anything. Like something, yeah. you know? Because he even even here's one of here's one of those little and I don't know if you gotta go frame by frame type of deals, but like a prime opportunity would have been Quill's abduction. You mm-hmm. know that happened in 1985 or 86 or mm-hmm. whatever. Like even if there could have been. Just some quick little, like a headline or, or you know, a news article yep. or a. So, when, he, when he goes on the internet and he starts going through all the data, like just yeah. have like the news thing pop up, like, yeah, like boy, Peter Quill missing or, you know, yeah, something like that. You know, boy yeah. missing from wherever. Or, or it could have been like one of those things, like with when they introduced the twins, you know, in the whole Hydra thing, like, okay, obviously Hydra had been experimenting on children for a yep. while, like, or in this case, teenagers. And we didn't get any of that. Um, and that, that actually kind of opens up. Um, no, we're already getting close on time here, but um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Avengers. It's Avengers. Um, we are uh, uh, looking at, or uh, at least I was looking at, the whole deal with Hydra. And so I had to break down, I had to watch the last episode of S.H.I.E.L.D., and which I myself am not a fan of that show at all. And... and I've tried. I've started season one a few times, and I can't get into it. And then I had to watch these last two episodes of the of this season because they were. It was like, oh, direct lead ins to Avengers, in, right, right. and it was literally the last ten seconds of that last episode. You know, of the of Wednesday night's episode last week. Literally, last ten seconds. Bird girls like, oh, metal men are coming. Okay, call the Avengers, and that's the <laughs> and that's. I had to sit through an hour of that awesome. show. But then the thing, the little tie in there, because the characters on S.H.I.E.L.D. got taken hostage by Hydra. They were being held at the base that the Avengers would eventually, that's the opening sequence. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. However, zero mention whatsoever Mm -hmm. about them creating the Wonder Twins or creating all these robots or them having the, the Chitauri dungeon in the basement right. you know there wasn't a single hint to any of that and it's like which whatever you know it was all behind a hidden door that's kind of one of the great things and bad things about uh universes like that like i love i love me some matrix I love the animatrix i've seen all that played into the matrix you know hmm. but you so like to experience the entire thing you need to watch all the movies watch all the shorts play the game all that but then when you go to the movie you're looking for all this payoff 
but they have to take into account that not everybody is you. Right. right. So you get one scene in the Matrix Re uh, in Revolutions or the second one where they get back to Zion and this kid comes around to you and he's like, oh, you saved me. He's like, no, you saved yourself. Self. And that's a reference to Kid, which is in the Animatrix. Yep. Only, only yep. payoff you get from that. Yep. That's just, it. It's just like... Side note, Animatrix is back on Netflix. Yep, yep so it is. I didn't see that. It's awesome. So. Yeah. I, would also, I would say, though, I mean, why didn't they throw anybody from the TV show on there? Yeah. Well, in, that, in that movie, like, that that kind of that that baffled me. I, I was. I was really confused, and that's why I watched these two episodes, because there wasn't a single reference to anything that had been, like, this. these last however many episodes of S.H.I.E.L.D. is just like, oh, them, yeah, you know, cracking down on HYDRA and all these double agents and da-da-da-da-da. And then that's what was so bizarre is that it ends with one of their uh, psychic girls, uh, bird girl, whatever her name is. She has the gross quills sticking out of her face. Um, makeup's really well done. Makes me kind of want to throw up. But it's right like... Um, but yeah, and it's her. Like, oh, I had a vision of, oh, these metal men are coming, and do 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 And it's just like... Okay, how come she didn't just see, like... You know, she could have seen them saving the world, right? No, if she, if, yeah, if yeah. She, you know, meta, we, we are approaching, you know, or she says something like that, you know, the whole, it's like, things will never be the same type of thing. And it's like, I think, and that, and that goes back to our, our, our lackluster Ultron, where world threat and outside of this village in Eastern Europe, apparently nobody. Yep. Yeah. Ultron, Ultron attacked New York, or rather just attacked Avengers headquarters, and that's all. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then decided to go back overseas for some reason, and you know, well, he had he had to pass through the the data center in, yep, in yep. Norway real quick. I, I think the big thing is, Mike, you, you can't think about it. I, have, I, I, I think you ruin it when you think about it. Here's something else I want to bring up real quick to all the people that keep saying out there, like, shut up about the Avengers not showing up in each other's movies. That's what we have the Avengers movies for, right? But, oh man, like where was where was uh, Iron Man during the events of Captain America Winter Soldier? How come he didn't help out? Well, he was doing his Tony so, Stark thing. Like he was busy creating. That's uh, that's uh, Iron, that's Captain America's movie. Let him have that. You know, yeah. like everybody has to have their. We own don't movie. have everybody all crossing over in comics all the well, time what, for right. a reason. What would be the point of not just making nothing but Avenger movies? Then exactly. that's what you want. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just yeah. And I, and I think. That is exactly like like you're touching on before, where it's like it's that fine line because mm -hmm. it's like okay, now leading up Captain America and Civil War, yep. where it's like uh, assuming you know this is gonna be, this will be you know Iron Man, and as of now, to our knowledge, we will not see another standalone Iron Man nope. movie, but he will play. I mean, obviously he is a key integral part to Civil War, yep. and it's like how do we, how do you then like find that balance right Af yep. after civil war what's the next big event yeah, well we're gonna have we're gonna have civil war and then we'll have the infinity gauntlet but at this point okay infinity gauntlet's not gonna happen for 10 years 20 Tw 2019 and 2020 i think or 2018 and 2019 yeah. i don't know something it's it's down the road yeah yeah but it's, but, it's like, but still i mean even you know you say that's four years from now but yeah. it's like we still have to get through six movies before mm -hmm. then and it's like unless or who knows this could be one of those deals that I have I, I have been very very impressed by their ability to keep things quiet because for all we know That's for true. all we know half of what we watched was all filmed during the first movie mm -hmm. you know ha half of this stuff you know and that's the cool thing about you know we'll, we'll say hollywood magic but <laughs> you know this is one of those things where it's just like okay how much like during uh winter soldier like how many how much of that could they have already filmed right you know the dialogue between your president and whoever like right here's your um you know your main dudes setting up for and i don't know and civil war could be an interesting thing however at this point my number one fear is until civil war cannot happen until marvel and fox get their shit together and can give each other hugs and get it figured out because as of right now civil war happens as far as we're concerned uh that would uh let's see the mutants would consist of steve rogers scarlet witch incredible hulk and yeah i think that's about so, it. so there's your three mutants versus the rest and thor stays out of it because he's not 
from Earth. Yeah. And then it's like, so yeah, as of right now, we have three mutants that we're going to have an uprising against. Well, I'd, I'm thinking that the title Civil War is just taking like, uh, they took the title Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron comic is very oh, different from this yeah, movie. Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, title alone, I th- I'm, I'm betting it's that. It's the, they just took the title and they're going to roll with Captain America versus Iron Man. That's definitely what they're but, yeah, leaning towards like, right now. Just them having their thing. I, yeah, I don't think it's going to be anything like you're, like we're used to with the Civil War. It's going to have nothing to do with that. Yeah. yeah. But it's Civil War. I mean, you have to. Let's, the, let's, the, the, the whole no, thing. No, they, you let's you see, have to because yeah. they don't have to do anything. Because the whole thing that kicks off Civil War is, is the dude blowing up the, you know, freaking pyro or not pyro but i forget who the character was that blows himself up on accident or intentionally however you look at it but it's this the big massacre that occurs and you know marvel to do a house of m movie right now too just but just have it just be like oh there wasn't any mutants to begin with because fox owns them gotcha suckers yeah (laughs) i don't don't watch that anyway gotcha suckers that's a moment that's right um well holy cow uh I think that kind of wraps up our pretty much Avengers two talk. So overall, we all thoroughly enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next movies. Oh, um, touched on uh, before we go, um, the omission of Pepper and Jane. Oh, the contract part that I thing. Hated, um... Do you think that was strictly a financial? I would say that was a financial decision. Probably. Because I'm sure that those two come along with a hefty price tag. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's her name has her website, and. But they had to. Then the other one is. Contra's what, still having. Whatever, whatever Natalie Portman does. And then Portman's doing her thing, yeah. They had to expl- Like, I hate when they do that in movies. They have to explain away Where's the Jane? absence. Just, just let it be. Like, she's not yeah. part of this movie, as far as I'm concerned, so yeah. just let it be. Jane's off. Don't talk about how she's getting a. She won't, she won't need to be a new. Nobel Peace Prize. I don't care. I don't care what she's yeah. doing in a free yeah. time. Pepper's off running companies. Who cares? Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Running 12% of a company. Whatever. Just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> True enough. Um. So, overall, on a, on a uh, normal meter <laughs> on, a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on a not not factoring in the hunk <laughs> okay, yeah. not, um, not factoring a, in the hunk uh, on, a, on a good old fashioned scale of 1 to 10 um, what are you guys thinking on this one I say 7 7, seven sounds fair um, a B B plus somewhere in there yeah. uh Great movie, fun movie. Not really memorable, though. No. Right. Like, there's no... I thought Quicksilver dying was kind of memorable, but just more shock factor. Yep. But there's nothing... There were... Uh, yeah. Other, which, other than by, buying know. it so that I have every movie in the cinematic universe. And, we'll, and cinematic we know we we'll all already have our, our extended editions on pre-order. Yep. Yeah, there's... I'm excited to see it. That being said, I have still not opened... My other Avengers, <laughs> even though I've watched that movie about you know two dozen times. And well, they put like, it on Netflix exactly like, as soon as it's yeah. like once that hit. But yeah, Blu-ray has not been open. Um, but I'm with you guys. I, I go about a seven, seven and yeah. a half. Um, a lot of good, good times. Awesome popcorn. Like I said, I was grinning like an idiot the whole time. It was. Just, I love seeing Wakanda. I mentioned cool, that was cool. Uh, yep. And however, there was that prime opportunity. Not a single mention. Yep. It was just like yeah, we got to go to Wakanda. No mention of uh, adamantium, right. you know, which is their core, not vibranium. You know, right. vibranium is yes, but adamantium is there is a big thing there. And then, um, but not even, not even a nod. Like I thought when that when when stuff started going down on that freighter or whatever they mm-hmm. were in their munitions factory, like here you go, here's your Black Panther appearance. Yep. Or even like it could. This is one of those. Snoopy little deals. It it could have been doing that, and again, frame by frame, like they could have had him potentially like tucked up in a corner, you know, yep. Batman style. Like he yep. could have just and like just real quick, like, and you'll just see like the two little pointy ears. Like that would have been a. You don't have to say a name. You don't have to do nothing. But 
that's really what I thought. I thought the whole reason of them even yeah. bringing up Wakanda should have been. I thought yeah. was going to be or an introduction to him because he is like the king of his right. villagers. Well, that's the guy that of... they took out in Wakanda who got his arm cut off. That's what the, he got that claw from, wasn't it? Like killing uh, one of the killing uh, Black Panther's dad or whatever. Like uh, I don't yeah. remember his name. Um, but yeah, like so I, I read that's where he got that claw from on his necklace. Mm -hmm. But that's all. Yeah, like, I, I would love to see this like quick like. It could have been some a, a blackout takedown from like one of the one of the henchmen just because you know like or you see him just or we what? just even get one of the Avengers like yeah I don't know, like looks like somebody's already here you know just like yeah looks like somebody took care of this <gasps> yeah black somebody Panther. else is black Panther oh my god but then at the same time you know maybe it's these events and they can use this as maybe this will be that sparking <laughs> thing like yeah. perhaps Black Panther at this point has not been you know, the vigilante that he becomes. Yeah. Or, or maybe this is that event. Like, it'll be maybe, maybe his, his wake up his... like, oh, I didn't realize that we had this kind of trouble in my... It's like, I know yeah. we have bad people here, but Cracking I didn't necklace. realize I have an yeah. entire island for a deserted beach full of freighters, full of nuclear weapons. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, overall, we're, we're all in agreement, sitting at about uh, 7 or so, 7.25 maybe on the... Uh, yeah. On the movie scale, uh, I, I guess the big thing to say is if you're on the fence about seeing it, see it. Yep. You won't Absolutely. be. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll enjoy it. Just don't expect um, anything um, amazing. And for those that are able, I would highly recommend do the 3D. Yeah. Uh, this has been this was the first movie that I felt was worth 3D admission. Awesome. Um, from start to finish, and I'm usually one. Uh, throughout the movie, and it's like being a guy with glasses. Like every other 3D movie I've gone to, I spend half the movie lifting my glasses up and down, up and down, trying to focus, trying to. In this movie, the thing that I liked about it was that it was all 3D. There was not a single moment on film that was not 3D. Awesome. You know, the way they filmed it compared to, I mean, we've wasted our money on others where it comes down to being three minutes. Yeah. You know, of one, oh, here's a dart getting thrown at the screen or something yeah. stupid. Like, no, this one. Just the battles and the you know the special effects alone definitely make it worth cool. worth the the admission. Um, yeah, that'll wrap. I think that'll uh, wrap up the uh, C three podcast tonight. Thank yeah. you guys for joining us. Um, we'll be back next week. Uh, a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, we have uh, Arkham Knight coming out here Ooh. mid mid June. Exciting Five times. Weeks, six weeks away already. Um, we'll touch on yeah free comic book day for Saturday in May. Hope all you retailers out there had an awesome time and all you co uh, comic book lovers took advantage of it. Now the countdown begins to Halloween Comic Fest. Um, in other news, I don't know, WWF still been pretty sad, or sorry, WWE is still pretty awful. I heard um, they banished the curb stump. Yeah, or changed the name. They're editing it out now. Yeah. The broadcasts. Um, Who knows? Check out, uh, we'll give a shout out to our, our buddies over at. Uh, Austin, uh, or sorry, Suplex City Limits. Suplex City Limits. We can throw you guys a link. Straight um, up. And just a forewarning, love you guys, but uh, their podcasts are just as long as Avengers 2, <laughs> so you go one or the other. Um, <laughs> make your you know, choice. Make your choice. True. But no, shout out to those guys. They're, they'll get you all your wrestling I, news. I will say, though, that two hours of those two talking about wrestling is almost better you know, outside of taking the away the real wrestling, yeah. their their two hours of content is better than the two hours of skits that WWE fills the three hour raw with. Yes, so I definitely agreed. Uh, so yeah, so we'll be back in the future. We got a lot more news to cover this month and especially this summer. So you know, keep tuning in and uh, share with your friends. Like us, subscribe, comment. Let us know. Comment, man. Somebody, that. somebody say something. Say something. Yeah, break that. Say comment, anything. Uh, comment, curse. You know, keep it clean. Keep it real. Anything else? No, I no. Peace out, Jason right. Voorhees. Avengers disassemble. Some more combat. Disassemble. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs>